There once was a peacock butterfly that flapped, soared, and wound its way around the young sycamore tree in a leafy corner of Broccoli's railway. On the eve of a great awakening, flowers here and there dotted the garden with ecstatic intoxication. Their fragrances had sounds that only insects could hear, and as soon as the sun revealed their colours, a rare and magnificent symphony was unveiled to the fortunate foragers. Lucky she felt indeed, flitting from flower to flower, to be the only butterfly to get a second taste of spring's graceful melody. So much so that she intended to spread and share her joy with the entire insect kingdom, with every beat of her wings until her last. Alas, one morning the sun had shone a different, colder light, and a flower remained closed. The sealed, mighty nettle had announced the passing of the beloved peacock butterfly. The insect kingdom felt her loss resonate through their communities. From the tops of trees to under rocks, insects left their homes and gathered around her still body. Never had another soul marked the lives of others as she had. For that reason, the morning flock encircled the great butterfly with a mesmerizing dance that lasted for hours. A gentle giant raised her up on its back. Her and the stag beetle shared an intimate bond for he saved her when she was only an egg and thus became her everlasting protector. He was followed shortly by her dear companions. The common blue butterfly to whom she lent her nettle house on stormy evenings The generous centipede, which had offered its back many times to help the old and tired butterfly on her last journeys. The shy woodlouse, to whom she helped blossom to reveal its pure sensitivity to the world. The caterpillar, a long lost cousin, whom she kindly consoled for never being able to fly. The relentless ant, who always brought her food on difficult days and to whom she taught to enjoy the present moment. And to close the procession, the humble grasshopper, who every morning leapt over the mighty nettle to greet her. Never would she have missed the nectar from her cherished nettle, not for a single morning, but today the poor soul could not find her. They marched towards the railway in silence. Many secrets were held within the insect world, for they shared the knowledge of their home, which embraces nature's power. Therefore, they wished for the ceremony to be held under the sycamore tree, a symbol of protection. Eventually, the sorrowful stag beetle laid their treasured friend in an old burrow bee's home on a bed of moss and stones. Accordingly, the woodlouse began the ceremony around an altar covered with nettles and hops, her favorite flowers. They honored her blissful life by sharing a sense of gratitude, for they felt lucky to have enjoyed another spring in her presence. In time, russet wings with false blue eyes lost their mortal shine. Returning to the earth in dust to nourish and nurture all the herbaceous perennials she once loved. Now and forever at the foot of a flower-fringed tree under a pile of moss-covered leaves she lay, a symbol of life. <laughs>